dear students i am very happy to meet you with the new problem so in this problem the transition probability matrix is given tpm for a marco chain with three states so here the states are mentioned very specific 0 1 2 and the matrix capital p and the initial state distribution is given in terms of some equation from this we are going to generate p not we are going to find a simple probability and then sequence of probability why i choose this problem because it has some reason for example initially in the previous problem what we thought when you take a matrix 3 cross 3 we will take the states 1 2 and so that means uh, for csc students you understand the position is 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 2 3 and 3 1 3 2 3 3 and we proceed the problem but in this problem it is very specific and clearly given the states are 0 1 and 2 so that means you should not take like this because you are habituated with take a matrix always array like 1 1 1 2 1 3 but here it is very important the states are given as 0 1 2 so when you solve the problem you should be careful this position is 0 0 then 0 1 0 2 1 0 1 1 1 2 2 0 2 1 2 2 so this is the correct positioning because the states are given in the problem as 0 1 2 2 in the previous problem what we thought the states are given as 1 2 3 3 there you can choose this but when you solve this problem you have to choose the states 0 1 2 and you have to check the position for solving the problem accordingly so you should be very very careful with this so if you are clear with this positioning then it is easy if the question is asked to you as p1 0 1 you can go on check this position if it is p1 1 1 this is the position p1 1 0 then it this is going to be the position and you can take the corresponding value now let us solve the problem the data given to us in the question is 1 by 3 for all the states i 0 1 and 2 so that means we can able to generate the p not small p not so 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 for all the states it's going to be 1 by 3 and very important my states are 0 1 and 2 now what is the question asked to us the first question is p of x2 equal to So p of x2 equal to 2 means p square at state 2. Done. If you don't know this, go and watch the basic video, and then you can get the clear idea how to find this. Now to find this p2, what is needed? We remember the formula p n is equal to p n minus 1. And into capital P. This capital P is going to be my transition probability matrix. So now, as I said, just use your calculator for calculator tricks. Watch the calculator tricks video, and then you can find the answer. So now, initially, P not is given. P one. P not into capital P. So for your convenience, I am not solving. multiplying you can use your calculator and you can find the answer immediately so when you multiply with your calculator you can write the decimals decimals you can go for two decimal place okay not more than that that is more than enough so here i am just writing the fraction because i have solved the fraction in my note in my material so i am writing the fraction so when you multiply you will be getting the answer 1 by 3 1 by 2 1 by 6 so the states are 0 1 and 2 similarly when you want to compute p2 again what you have to do p2 is nothing but p1 into capital p so my p1 is 1 by 3 1 by 2 1 by 6 and my p matrix i am writing here like this but don't do this in exams you just copy the proper one whether it is decimal which is calculated by calculator or if you are doing manually you write the proper fractions and my p2 is going to be 3 by 8 11 by 24 1 by 6 and the states are 0 1 and 2 so what they are asking p2 at state 2 so this is what the required data and it is very clear the required data is 1 by 6 so my answer is 1 by 6 so the first part of the problem gets over you see i took the problem because it is not something very big or tough it is very important to convey the message the states are 0 1 2 so the matrix positions may be starting 
1011102 similarly 1011122202122 that is the main information i want to give to you now the second part of the question when we see uh, it is sequence of probability it is going to be very easy when you remember the steps how to do x not equal to so when we do like this we have to compute this to this to this to and finally this will remains alone so probability of x3 equal to 1 with the condition x2 equal to 2 into x2 equal to 2 x1 equal to 1 into x1 equal to 1 x0 equal to 2 and then finally probability of x0 equal to so now we have to rewrite it you know how to write that also i thought in the first and second videos how to find the sequence probability conditional probability everything if not you just go and check it out come back so now you can see this 2 1 i'm going to write the position 2 1 and then the difference between 2 3 is 1 into capital p 1 2 then the difference is 1 2 is 1 into capital p again 2 1 the difference is going to be 1 into pure probability that i can find from the initial data Data which is given to us. So x not that means p not at state two. So now you have to go for the original matrix. From there we have to find. Okay. Uh, for your convenience, I am rewriting the original matrix again for your reference. So capital P. My capital P is going to be. 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 0, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, and 1 by 4, 0, 3 by 4, and 1 by 4. Now you see the states are 0, 1. Zero one two. So you may have a doubt. Suppose you want to find capital P one. Since it is P, it's going to be P one. Zero one means you should not confuse, sir. My matrix start with one one. Here the positioning is what? Again, I'm writing the position. It's going to be zero 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 one zero two one zero one 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 two two zero two one. Two two. This is the position. So if they are asking P one zero one means this is P one zero one. If they are asking P two zero means this is the second position and two zero is this value. Okay, zero one value is one by four. Is it clear? I think now you are confident to do the problem. Now let us finish this problem. So what is asked in the problem? The sequence probability sequence P two one one. So P Two one means this is going to be my position. Okay, so it is going to be three by four into p one two at the first because the matrix is p one p one two. When I want to go p one two, it is one by four one by four again p two one. The same data is repeating three by four p not state two. Just now we write initially p not. All the initial conditions are going to be same, but still we write the state for correctness. So all the three states have the same value. Now p not at state two, it is simply this value. So I am going to multiply with one by three. So now use your calculator and then simplify and then write the decimals. Okay. Don't write fraction. If you follow fraction throughout the thing, you follow the fraction. But it is tough for multiplying. So use your calculator. Simply find the value. Write it. Finish the problem. Hope in your exams, if you are getting like zero one two, you will be confident. What is the data asked for? P two one. That is going to be this position. If they ask you P zero two, that is going to be this position at one. So to create the confidence, to minimize the error, I am just posting the videos. You should not get confused with the states. Okay. Good luck, students. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Subscribe our channel. Share to your friends. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you.